If you're new to Google Analytics or don't know your way around it very well, setting up e-commerce tracking and finding the data you need can be a little tricky. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can find your average order value in Google Analytics. The average order value is the average amount of money a customer spends per order. It's calculated by dividing the total sales revenue by the number of orders that you've received. So by increasing your average order value, well, you can increase your revenue. So you can do that by recommending popular or related products, upselling at checkout, or setting a minimum for free shipping. Your WordPress store's average order value can be found in two places, in your WordPress dashboard with Monster Insights or in your Google Analytics account. Now, of course, it's more convenient to see the report in your WordPress dashboard. So I'll show you how to do that first. So to get started tracking your e-commerce data, you'll need a Monster Insights Pro level license. It's super easy to install, but if you need a little help, then you can check out our post on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. I'll leave a link in the description for that one too. Now, once you've installed, activated, and connected your site to Google Analytics, just navigate to Insights, and then to Add-ons, and then simply install the Monster Insights e-commerce add-on. And it will automatically activate. Now, soon, Google Analytics will start gathering data about your e-commerce sales. Now, don't worry if you don't see data right away. It can be a day or so. Then, to view your e-commerce reports in WordPress, all you have to do is go to Insights, and then to Reports, and then click the e-commerce tab at the top of the page. Then, you'll see your e-commerce store's average order value, along with your conversion rate, total transactions, top products, and more. All right, now let's see how you can find your average order value in Google Analytics. So first, you'll need to log into your account, then head over to Explorations, and create a blank report. Next, give your report a name, something like Average Purchase Revenue. Then click the plus icon next to Dimensions, and import Device Category, Session Source Medium, City, and Session Campaign. Okay, now click the plus next to Metrics and import the Average Purchase Revenue metric to your report. Now choose a dimension to start with and click and drag it over to the Rows section. Then just click and drag Average Purchase Revenue from your Metrics box over to the Values box. And there you have it. That's how you find your average order value in Google Analytics. We hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.